Hey, hi everyone. This is Admin from Admin365 and today we are going to talk about how to fix the mail flow issue where we receive bounce back message when we try to send email out of the organization. And the error which we get is 5.7.708 access denied traffic not accepted from this IP. So let's get started. This mail flow issue occurs only when you have a new tenant and you don't have a paid subscription on the tenant. It can also happen when you are not using a custom domain on your tenant but using the onmicrosoft.com domain provided you by Microsoft. When I say custom domain, it is basically a domain which you have bought. For example, abc.com, google.com, all these are custom domain. And if you want to send emails using that, you will have to verify it in Microsoft Admin Center. Then you will be authorized to send emails out from the custom domain which you own. So if you don't use a custom domain and if you don't have a paid license on the tenant and you are trying to send out emails to people inside or outside the organization, you might face this issue where when you send an email out, it gives you a bounce back email with the error code access denied traffic not accepted from this IP. So now we know the reason of why it happens. Let's see how we can fix it. Basically, if you go ahead and purchase a subscription, which is a paid subscription, not a trial one, then it should resolve itself in some time. Or if you add a custom domain to the tenant, it should also help in resolving this issue. What I will suggest is whenever you face this issue, just create a ticket with Microsoft informing them that we are facing this issue we are on a new tenant if you are on on the one and if you are using a free or a trial subscription and you don't want to purchase the subscription right now you can mention that in the ticket that i will purchase the subscription later but please allow my emails to work and the other point which we have to make sure is the custom domain you will have to add a custom domain in the tenant as i mentioned an example for a custom domain would be abc.com or any domain you can purchase which is not uh, on microsoft.com domain is a custom domain so if you add the custom domain and if you rename your email addresses ending with that custom domain that will certainly help to speed up the process of releasing your tenant and making your services up back again. So uh, just create a ticket with Microsoft. Let them know that uh, you cannot purchase the subscription if that's the case. Or if you cannot add a custom domain right now, you can let them know the same. So once you submit a request, an engineer working on that case can put your tenant on exception and then it can allow the email flow back again. Once the uh, fix has been applied, it can take a couple of hours at least for the services to be back up again. So please be patient on that as well. So to summarize it back again, if you are on a new tenant or if you are not using a paid subscription, or you don't have a custom domain in the tenant, then you might face this issue. The best way to solve this is to fix the later two, which is to get a paid subscription and add a custom domain in the tenant. But if that is not possible, you can go ahead and create a ticket with Microsoft and let them know that uh, you request an exception so let's see how we can raise a support request with Microsoft on this. Uh, you just have to go to the browser, go to office.com and sign in with the admin account. 
and once you are signed in with an admin account you should see this admin tile or you can click on the nine dots here and look for the admin tile uh, you can click on that and it will open the admin center click on show all and then the support tab as you can see here and then you can select new service request once you do that you just have to type your query you can mention the error which you were getting access denied traffic not accepted from this ip and put a search here then at the bottom it will show you a contact support window let me just do a random here hit enter okay uh, this will give you some solutions as well and uh, you can simply click on contact support here and then provide all your information and then at the bottom uh, you can click on contact me so this is how you can create a support request do let me know if you have any question and you have a nice day bye take care